Hi, my awesome artists. Welcome back to the 2019-2020 school year. Oh, is that looking backwards back there? Hmm, okay, well, oh well. Um, I'm Mrs. Bachman, I'm your art teacher, and I am so looking forward to having a great year this year. Let's take a tour of what we've got going on in the art room. So welcome my awesome artists. This is where we line up waiting for me to come open the door and let you into the art room. Hi girls. Hi. Thanks for helping me. Okay, well, I'm not quite 100% ready yet, but hopefully I will be by the time you all see this. So we know we have our Mona Lisa quiet. We sit like Mona Lisa, with the eyes on the teacher, mouth closed, hands still. And our mantra, always remember, I am smart, I am friendly, I am helpful, I am kind, I am creative, I can do it because I am just fabulous. Let's keep going. We've got sinks here, so there's no need to line up everybody all at one sink. We can spread out. We've got lots of sinks. Here's our store. So we know this is where we have our markers and our crayons and colored pencils. Look, we've got some new kinds of colored pencils here this year. And our rulers, we are all over here in the store. Please don't go into the cabinets unless I ask you to. All right, let's keep going around. Oh, look at something new we have this year. The tables have colors around the edges of them now. So please don't pick at that color that's on there. I don't want to have to keep redoing it all the time. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, and I call this lovely table in the middle of the room the paper table, although there's usually things other than just paper on here. We've got the markers and some extra erasers and glue and wipes and different things, but it's usually packed full of paper. Here's our project board up on this corner in the room. So this is where you can see what projects you will be working on or as you're getting close to being finished, with a project, you'll see what you'll be working on next. And that is right next to our amazing art salon. And in this salon, we have books and some other activities like building blocks and Legos and all kinds of things. Please put those books back where you got them from in the same place with the spines and the names of the books facing out. So you can just look at those books and you can see what it is without having to turn them upside down or backwards. And hopefully we'll be using these sometime this year because our focus this year is going to be on famous artists. So sitting in here with our lovely pillows, this is for reading books in the salon only. If you're going to play with some of those other activities, please bring them out to that rug or your desk. Thank you. Sometimes we have early finishers. So I usually have different activities planned. These coloring and puzzle pages, these are something that you can pick and you can keep those. Sometimes I pull out drawing sheets for us to use for other things. Please don't go through the drawing sheets without permission. They're not for you to take and keep. It's usually used for projects that we're working on. We've got some really cool things going on in the art room. This is something else that we can do. I've got some different modeling clay for some um, early finisher activities and I'll probably use these for beginner clay projects. I'm hoping to get a lot of clay work done in this year. 
This is where we can see what our objectives are, the I can, so what you should be accomplishing with the project that you're working on. And then we have our hamburger rubric. So this goes according to how your projects are graded. So um, we're gonna talk about these a little bit more in class. We have our hamburgers going on here. Where's the beef um, and the deluxe? And we always wanna shoot for all that and a bag of chips. We'll talk more about that later though. I almost forgot to tell you about our blabber brush. We have our three paint cans here. Our green paint can says indoor voices only. So if our blabber brush is on the green can, it's indoor voices, you can talk. If our brush is on the yellow can, what does that say? Soft whispers. And if it is on the red can, silent mouth. We shouldn't be talking because that means that I'm talking or maybe you're just getting too loud. So you know, we also have lots of fire drills during the year. So what are you supposed to do during a fire drill? Let's pretend and practice. Ding, 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 ding. We have a fire drill. Let's go. Line up. We line up on the blue line. This is also where we line up for dismissal. And we are gonna go out those doors straight ahead. Quietly, we're never talking during a fire drill. Stop at that door and wait for me. Let's create. Are you ready to do a quick art project? Keep watching to see what we're going to do. Okay, are you all ready to do some art now? We're gonna do a little activity that is going to be a whole school collaborative. I think we're gonna get everybody in the school to do this. These are done on popsicle sticks. So I'm going to give you a popsicle stick and then I would like you to color it. Now, if you look on your table, we've got some of these markers, and then we've got our regular markers, and then we also have our permanent markers, our Sharpies. So, let me just show you quickly what we're going to do. Using these markers, which are a little bit lighter in color, you can do a background color. So, and these markers are really cool. They have two ends. They've got a really fine point end, and they have a brush kind of an end. So we can take the, these markers, and you see they come out lighter, and we can color the whole thing, whatever colors you want, maybe even two colors or three colors. And just for demonstration purposes, maybe I'm just gonna do two colors here. So there's one, and hmm. Oh, ooh, how do you like those nails? Those are pretty cool, aren't they? Um, maybe I'm gonna do this purple, mm, I don't know. Maybe we'll do this one. And I'm gonna color this one in. Always try to work neatly. And I'm gonna color this in. Let's flip that around the other way. Color that in. And now, how about some kind of a design on it? So I've got my little permanent Sharpie here. This is my ultra fine point. If I can open it, oh, got it. And whatever kind of design you want. You can have words, you can have pictures, whatever you want to do. Look, that one on the top even looks like a little pencil with a smiley face on top. So however you want to do it. I like hearts. I've been doing lots of hearts on mine. Maybe you want to do words. Maybe you want to just do patterns. It's totally up to you what you want to do, however you want to do it. Maybe I'll put hearts over here. Maybe I'll put some peace signs over here. So 
sorry, had to move the camera over. Um, hmm, maybe you want to do some stripes where you have room. Totally up to you if you want to color that in a different color. So here's where our Crayola markers come in. Maybe I want to um, let me get a little closer. Ooh, not that close. Okay, that's good. Maybe I want to color in my heart. And then when we are finished, we are going to grab our little Elmer's glue bottle and we're going to open it. There might be some dried glue up on the top over here that you might have to just pick that dried glue off. But then we are going to just flip our stick over and just put four little drops of glue onto the back. Remember, just a drop, not a lot. And then we're going to line them up. Some of them are gonna go this way, and some of them are gonna go this way, all the way across the paper. And we're gonna fill up one paper, and then we're gonna fill up another paper, and then we're gonna have this beautiful artwork from everybody in the school. I might even get some teachers to do this too. So have fun.